there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World. And today we're on the top of the Peabody Hotel here in Memphis, Tennessee. You got the mighty Mississippi behind me. You got the Peabody sign. And around the corner are the Peabody Ducks. And today what we have for you are the 10 things that shock tourists when they come here to Memphis. And there's a lot of cool shocks. And there's a lot of crazy shocks. There's just a lot of little fun things that you need to know before you come here. And the first thing that's going to shock you and it's going to be dealing with here in the Peabody is ducks will make you turn into a five-year-old kid. Yes, the Peabody Ducks, actually, they walk them out from here. You go, they'll walk across the stage here or walk across the, the balcony here, go downstairs in the elevator. They do a whole ceremony to get the ducks down at 11 o'clock in the morning. They take them down every day and the ducks swim around the fountains. And then at five o'clock, they roll out the red carpet again and take them out and bring them back up here. But the thing is, it doesn't matter if you're a celebrity or if you're a local or if you're a tourist, when they come down and they do the duck march, you're like, oh, there's ducks and you act like a total fool and it's shocking how it'll change just a simple tourist that wants to be cool and do oh look there's walking ducks so it is kind of a cool thing but as the first shocking thing i do love about coming here is seeing the faces of the people at the peabody when the ducks come down it doesn't matter if you're old if you're young if you're middle-aged if you're whatever it's one of those fun things you really should do when you come here okay now the second thing that's going to shock you when you come here to memphis is beale street and if you're not sure what Beale Street is, that's the music street, that's the party street, that's the street where you can actually drink alcohol on the street. Yes, shock number two is you can drink on Beale Street, like actually on the street. Now, for those of you that don't know, in the US, we have pretty strict uh, drinking laws and open container laws. So if you're like walking around with a beer or a whiskey or a wine on a normal street, you can get cited by the police. I mean, that's like getting arrested and getting in trouble that way. You know, you, you can't do that. But here, you can, like, wait, I can take my beer out? Yeah, it's in a plastic cup. You can go walk on Beale Street, have a good time, go from a bar to see another one and, and drink and listen to music and stuff like that. And it's really, really cool. Now, the bars might not let you bring somebody else's beer in, but you can walk down and the music on Beale Street that's playing all the time. Yes, BB Kings, I go there with my buddies. He's a local. We go listen to music there, but there's so many music choices, so many things to do, and you can drink on the street. It is really cool. I will say, though, there's like barriers on two ends of Beale Street. It's, it's pedestrian only. You'll see the, the kids doing the flips and stuff like that, which is cool. But outside those barriers, you can't drink on the street, okay? So it's only that one little part. So just a heads up for that one. Now, the third thing that's going to shock you when you come here, especially if you come from June through August, is the heat and the humidity. Look, you know how some places just have heat or dry heat and some places have a little humidity? Well, here in Memphis, you get both insane heat in the summer and insane humidity to go along with it. So you can be freaking miserable in June, July, and August when you are here. That's why the best times to come, Memphis in May, there's all the barbecue festivals in, uh, there, there's all kinds of concerts, all kinds of great stuff. That's a great time to come. September, October, there's all kinds of festivals then. But in the summer, oh my God. <sighs> I mean, it is just brutal. I mean, you need to wear an undershirt. I'm doing this at eight o'clock in the morning, so I'm not just drenched with sweat while I do this. So just be ready for it and don't complain. You're coming to Memphis. It is hot, it is humid, and it's awesome, okay? Now the fourth thing that's gonna shock you when you come here is when you go to Graceland, the home of Elvis Presley, yes. His home, you can go do a tour of that and see all the 70s kits that's there. I mean, it is pretty cool to check out. You're like, wow, that dude liked having TVs everywhere. And the jungle room and, and his TV room and all this kind of stuff downstairs. It's crazy. And the thing is, they have a huge, they just opened up a huge new expanded museum there. So you can go see this pink Cadillac. You can see his jumpsuits that he wore all over the place. And it's insane how much Elvis stuff there is around town, but also how much music stuff there is. You know, the Stax Museum is a great museum to see. You can go to Sun Studios where he made some of his, Elvis made some of his music. You have this really cool music scene, but Graceland is just crazy how Elvisy it is. And to go along with the shocks with Graceland is the price. Wow. The price to go into Graceland. If you're a true Elvis fan, you'll love it. If you're not a true Elvis fan, you're going to be scared to death when you see those prices. It can be a bit pricey going in there. Now they have to keep all that stuff up. So I understand why it's expensive, but man, that price there is, is, a, is a bit crazy, okay? Now the fifth thing that's gonna shock you when you come here is actually one of the museums I really recommend you go see. It's the National Civil Rights Museum here in Memphis. It's actually in the Lorraine Hotel where Martin Luther King was assassinated. It is one of the best museums in the United States and it tells a really amazing story and the, the, the trials and tribulations of the civil rights movement in the US and it has pieces uh, from civil rights history throughout the US. I mean, it is just truly an amazing place to go and I will tell you, 
you. It is a very moving, moving museum. When you go through, I mean, I'm getting goosebumps just remembering going there. And I really recommend you to go see it, but you'll be shocked how moved you are when you go. It's like, my God, you can actually go in the room where the assassin was there and shot him from, and, and you can see where this was, and you see the stories, you hear the stories, and all these kind of things. It is such a really great and interactive kind of stuff there. I mean, it's, it's one of the top, honestly, one of the top museums in the country, but you'll be shocked how great the museum is but also how moving and how touching it is when you go there so definitely check it out now the next thing that's going to shock you when you come here is how friendly the people here in memphis are i mean this is you know we're in the south now and the people love that southern hospitality so if you're not sure where, where a site is where a place is just ask somebody they'll gladly tell you and then keep talking and talking and giving you a history and tell about how their cousin was there their aunt was there and oh when you are there you should eat this food when you're there and it's crazy because the people will give you recommendations and help you out so much and the thing is the best just ask them hey what's the best barbecue place to go and they will all argue with each other okay they're like no no central's the best no rendezvous is a classic no corky's is this one or you know just like the barbecue shop and there's all these things like there's over a hundred barbecue places in memphis i mean if you don't like one barbecue find another one you'll love it okay and you might be a little shocked that the the ribs here they're fantastic but there's no sauce they do a dry rub on it but yeah i mean the the, the it's just it's just amazing but man those people they are so friendly and so helpful it really makes it a great experience because as a tourist you know you might go to the zoo okay the zoo here is fantastic with the pandas and you're not sure where should i go the the people that work there are helpful but also the other memphis people because the memphis people go out and explore beale street they go to the zoo they go to these things they love the art scene and they want to help tourists have a better time when they're here see so this great hospitality and friendliness here that's just shocking how great it is when you do come and speaking of that barbecue and food the next shock i have for you is how much awesome food you will have when you are here yes barbecue is the de facto you know memphis eat yes the dry rub ribs and the the pulled pork with the salt on top and have that as a sandwich it's amazing but there's more than just barbecue when you're here i know also shocking there's great soul food there's great asian food there's all kinds of great places to go you want a burger go grab one of hooey's you want to have some donuts man gibson's donuts oh my god they're maple and, and bacon donut it is to die for okay and there's so much great food to have when you're here and in crazy portion sizes and that's one thing that just shocks me it's like man you know i didn't think i could eat barbecue for six days straight but i could eat barbecue for six days straight that's so good gus's fried chicken man i've had that three times already when i've been here for like four days so far there's so many good places to go and honestly just ask any memphis person they'll tell you oh go this place go to that place check this one out there's so many nice things out there to eat and to enjoy oh it's great and and that is even get into the drinking when you're here oh man they have really great water here and everyone will tell you that and so they've gotten some new breweries coming out i like wise acre myself also ghost river brewery those are my two favorite ones out here so far i've been to crosstown as well i mean there's a lot of these out here and you're like man all this stuff is really booming down here so it is kind of a cool thing and that's what makes it so great for tourists to come here and the thing is as is, is much as i talk about how much I really love being here in Memphis. There are some other shocks that aren't so good, but we'll go to another part of the city to show you that because there's the, the 10 shock is one thing that you got to see to believe, all right? Now, the eighth thing that's going to shock you when you do come here to Memphis is since there are a lot of tourists that come here because it is a really cool city, you will see a lot of beggars on the street, especially if you're down on Beale and downtown areas. And, you know, because there's so many people there, they're drinking, you know, when you're drinking, you're giving out a little bit more money. And the thing is, don't be too freaked out about the beggars when you are there. Just tell them, hey, no, sorry, man. And they'll usually leave you alone. But the thing is, is there's just so many that will come and ask you or come and chat with you or hop in your picture actually to help come and chat with you. And the people here in Memphis are so friendly, you don't realize they're about to beg for money. So that is one thing that kind of shocks you. It's like, wait, I didn't think that guy was going to beg. I thought he was just nice. No, there are some here. So just know, just say, hey, sorry, man. And usually they're pretty cool about it. Another thing I want you to know that might shock when you come here is, Memphis actually does have kind of a high crime rate in certain parts of town. And so it is kind of a hit and miss in areas because some areas are totally fine. And then like two streets later, it's not so fine. So do pay attention when you are driving around and going to different places. You know, if you're downtown late at night, I mean, just like any downtown in the world, downtown late at night, usually not the safest place to be. So have a heads up for that. So one of the areas you might watch out for is I know everyone loves Elvis. And so you come here, you want to see Graceland and all those kind of things. I would say the area around Graceland is a bit run down, so you might not feel super like okay being around there, but if you're going to Graceland, the parking's fine there. Just make sure you're putting your stuff away. And that's anywhere actually here in Memphis. Just make sure if you're parking your car, do not have anything of value out, okay? Make sure that's away. Um, if you're going to your hotel, take it with you to your hotel room, put it in there, these kind of things. 
And when you're walking around, you know, don't flash your money out. If you are gonna give money to some of the beggars and stuff like that, don't like open your wallet out and just have the things there. You know, just normal common sense kind of safety stuff would be important when you are here, okay? And then the 10th thing that's gonna shock you when you come here to Memphis, and the reason why I'm standing outside of this amazing huge pyramid, or I should say, Bass Pro Shop, yes, the pyramid, where they used to play basketball, professional basketball was here, college basketball was here, concerts were here, all kinds of stuff, is now the most insane Bass Pro Shop. I mean, they have an elevator that goes to the top, you can go up there, they have freaking alligators in there, live alligators that you can see. Yes, they have lakes with fish flying around. Oh, you wanna shoot some guns? Yes, there's a shooting range there as well. You wanna have something for the kids? Well, they've got bowling. They even make their own candy there. And it's funny, my budding bike's like, Mark, you gotta check this place out. I'm like, it's a Bass Pro Shop, who cares? It's like, no, no, dude, you just had to see it to believe it. I'm like, whatever, and I walked in and I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God, it was just like shocking. I'm like, you really had to come see it? I mean, I know it's silly to say a Bass Pro Shop in a pyramid, but there, there's, there's a hotel in there too. There's restaurants in there too. I mean, it's it's crazy. So definitely come and check it out, but you will be shocked when you go inside going, what the heck? It is pretty cool. Anyway, this is one of my many, many visits here to Memphis. It is a great city to visit. It's shockingly great. Great for partying, great for eating. The people are awesome when you come here. I really hope you will visit. I know I love it. I come here all the time. My god utters here. And I come even because, if not just because she's here, but because oh my god, great people. It is such a fantastic place. From the zoo, go see the Pink Palace, all kinds of great stuff. And I hope you enjoy it. If you want to learn more about coming to Memphis, maybe the five things you should eat when you come here, the five things you love and hate about coming to Memphis, Memphis, the don'ts of Memphis, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and we really appreciate your likes, subscriptions, and if you click that subscribe button, we put out at least two new travel videos every week, and there's always one on Wednesday and Saturday, and if we got time, we put some more out during the week. So I'll say bye from Memphis, because I got to go eat some barbecue. Bye.